Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So today I wanted to... I'm not too sure how to say this, but basically we finally got information regarding of the future Witcher games. Uh, so we already know that CD Projekt Red has announced that they are going to be making a new, brand new saga towards the Witcher games. It's going to be a very big scope. And mind you, this doesn't mean that it's going to be one game. In fact, it could be, well, tr three of them, mind you, maybe four. It depends how much they want to go about. And as such, they have been, you know, talking and uh, having a little bit of uh, questions and answers regarding of, you know, what does this mean for the future of the Witcher? You know, like also a lot of people may argue, and I'm one of them, that, you know, well, why would you announce this now? Isn't it way, way too early? Because, like, don't expect this game to be seen for another couple of years. Seriously. And mind you, do not, like, if I would have to argue and say when's the earliest release, perhaps maybe from now, three to four years. Absolutely the earliest. You know, of course, it makes sense why they did it, because of the shares and stuff. And of course, people will be expecting what to see from CD Projekt Red. And of course, if CD Projekt Red will keep staying silent about their future developments and future games, of course, this means they're going to lose a lot of shares. And it makes sense why they are doing it right now. But still, you know, uh, after when they have announced that they're making a brand new Witcher games, right? Because they said it's a new saga and basically... A lot of people started questioning and seeing any sort of teases, any sort of kind of Easter eggs within a wallpaper that they have showcased here. So as such, a lot of people were saying like, what is this? Like, you know, why does not does it not look like the wolf mask? Well, you know, the wolf symbol basically, right? And of course, like what we see here is a brand new symbol. We are not familiar with it at all. And so, a lot of people were saying like this kind of looks like a cat this looks like some sort of a cat-like animal and a lot more people were convinced that this is some kind of lynx right lynx like there's an animal that looks like a cat that actually his name is lynx and in fact this was finally confirmed by robert malinowski hopefully i'm not butchering his name and he said that okay some mysteries should not be so mysterious and as such i can confirm that this that the medallion is in fact shaped after a lynx. So this makes it kind of interesting. Is there going to be a lynx school or some sort? Is there something that we do not know? Because like there was nothing related towards lynx in the Witcher uh, franchise, in the Witcher books, in the Witcher games, hell in the movies. Well, at least to, to a degree, right? And of course, lynx was never a part of it. So this kind of gives me two uh, kind of clarifications, right? At least my assumptions. One, this could be based in the far future of, you know, what we have left off in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And number two, it could be completely new universe related towards the Witchers. We do not know. And in fact, you know, Witcher 3 and having different, you know, universes and stuff, you know, planets, you know, portals that you can go through. It's not really like... At this point, you'd be talking, okay, this is kind of sci-fi, isn't it? But again, Witcher 3 is not truly history-developed, you know, fantasy-enveloped uh, game. Even though the gameplay is all about that, but the story, if you've been playing it, and perhaps I shouldn't say anything else because I'll get into the spoiler category, but still, it's been already seven years since the release of The Witcher, so maybe I should touch on that. Actually, you know what? I will touch on that, so spoilers ahead a little bit. Basically, as, as Geralt, you can actually go and traverse through different worlds. And one world is like poisonous, one world is like uh, high up in the mountains and stuff like that. Basically, there's different worlds that you can be part of. Like, this world is also in sea, deep in the sea. You see what I mean? Like, you know, it's always so a possibility that somewhere there that we may end up being and where we find this Link's school of like the Witchers. And as such, it makes it kind of interesting to see, you know, where, uh, who kind of the founder of it, right? Like maybe it will be Siri that kind of makes this into, well, a Link's kind of school for the Witcher and for the Witchers. It's interesting because like, you know, it kind of always makes it an appealing kind of conversation that you'll be speculating a lot of things, trying to find little bits of pieces within the world of the Witcher. And now, of course, after when we finally got to see this first look ever, well, teaser picture uh, towards this new fr uh, franchise that will be coming in with the Witcher and the new saga, I meant to say, and now having medallion of a shape of a lynx head instead of the wolf, it's still kind of, you know, where's this gonna lead to? And as such, that's what I got. Perhaps the far future or somewhere in a different world completely. Still, it's going to be interesting to see more. Uh, hopefully, they're not going to, you know, 
derive from different compared to what they have been doing it previously so i hope they stay true to the ground and uh, similar as scope to what like the witcher 3 wild hunt did and of course i hope that they're gonna evolve on that evolve of course don't make it too uninteresting don't make it too something different too different if that makes sense but still this up to them i completely understand i'm definitely on, on board uh, to check out what they got in store and what their brainstorm ideas that they're currently well i presume that they're currently going through um, it still is interesting theory and i would love to see what they got in store for this and as such i think that's all i wanted to mention about this it's definitely is an interesting development i'm curious to see but still we're gonna have to wait a couple more years until we see anything perhaps maybe if we're lucky next year we may see a cgi trailer or some sort perhaps a year after that we'll finally see proper gameplay in the following year then we'll see again you know like a closer released finally release date of this witcher game that whatever it's gonna be called again a lot of people presume it's gonna be you know witcher 4 and of course they're gonna go with that name but I just do not believe that's going to be Witcher 4. Like, Geralt is not going to be much a part of it. It's been already kind of clarified that Geralt's story, well, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and the DLCs, they kind of already gave him a good conclusion. And I think they need to wrap him up. Like, just just let him, let him stay where he wants to stay. You know, there's a lot of people and a lot of the conversations have been going on as well because with the statues and... Uh, what CV Project Red has been doing as well, and with the appeal of Japan or China, Korea, or whatever they like to go about, I assume it is Japan though. Perhaps maybe this Witcher game will be an involvement inside, like perhaps, well, in Japan setting. Also, by the cat standards, shouldn't it be actually Egypt? <laughs> okay, I'm just losing my mind here a little bit. I'm going over and overthinking this perhaps too. All right. Tell, uh, tell me down in the comments as well what you think about this. Like, where do you think this should be based? Should it be based back where it was? Perhaps a completely new area? Perhaps something we're not aware of? That's also a very big possibility. It would be very interesting. But, oh well. Tell me down in the comments. Love to hear it. All right. Like and subscribe. See you guys all. And, um, yeah. Have a good one.